I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this for yourself and pitting all the reservations aside. Women are rock stars and we are meant to love ourselves. Welcome to Bus Mob TV. In the spirit of living our life with intention, me and Greta Nance found some time in our day to pause, grab some coffee, and chat about what's going on inside Bus Mob. We'll answer some questions, spend some time with a special guest, and share ways to be more intentional in your daily life. Hop on in. Go! We're coming in hot. Welcome to the car of intention. I'm we glad get the car of intention is a little warm today because it's a little chilly it's cold. here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah. Didn't you say like your On face 11, was cold? On 11 11. Yeah. And everything else was warm? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I like a good heated seat. I hope I won't turn yours on because last episode you burnt your hiney. No, you burnt my bones. Mm. That's what you did. All the way That's straight right. through. There's not much of a hiney. There isn't. There's I nothing look I very um, colorful and you look like part of my interior. I look like so. <laughs> I, I feel like up. I need to sit down a little bit. Let's go down. I oh, see it does move. <laughs> Mine does. Yours doesn't. Oh, up. that's. Cute. I'm the driver. Now I'm too short. Coming back up, <laughs> up the escalator. <laughs> okay, and we're back. I know. So there's a lot of conversations. Mm-hmm. We're moving from into Thanksgiving season and uh, Christmas, out of Halloween. A lot of surgeries coming uh, up in Bus mm. Mob. Lots of topics. Yes. What are we talking about today? I love that a lot of people get surgery around this time because they have time off. You know, they have two weeks off for Christmas, so why not use that time? Um, But I have been seeing a lot of discussions in Bus Mob lately about fat grafting. Yes. And whether or not it's good for like a complete breast augmentation or for spot treating an area. Mm -hmm. And this one girl, her post, she had implants, but she had some flat spots. She went in and had fat grafting done and then kind of rounded out the mm-hmm. flat spots. Mm-hmm. And it looks so good. Mm-hmm. Did you and I have both had fat grafting, I believe. Did you have it? Yeah. I've had it on the top of one side. I think I did know that. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I had a capsule removed from mm-hmm. one of my original exchanges and it kind of left me with a a divot. D- divot there. And so while I was doing something else, they did a little fat grafting on the side, you know, mm-hmm. took the fat from there. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and put it right there. And it was so easy. It's crazy. But I do know with fat grafting, even if you're doing the face or the butt or anything else, you almost have to like overcompensate mm. because some of that fat will die. Mm-hmm. So I know that's always a trade off. Like it looks fantastic or a little too much at first. Mm-hmm. But you just never know over the next six to eight months how much is going to live or die. That sounds so that sounds terrible. terrible. Let's say how much is going to survive. Uh, yeah, what's going to stay. Yeah. How about a totally, what is it called? Aug- it's like aug- a whatever. Uh, fat grafting augmentation. Yeah, and it's called something funny. But like, yeah. I don't. if I don't want an implant, how do we all feel about just straight up fat? Well, I'll tell you what I think. Um, what's the first thing to go when you exercise? Your boobs. My mental state. Well, <laughs> for Greta. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Yes, but your boobs. boobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so keep that in mind. And a lot of times with fat grafting, you can cause some like calcification in areas. Yes. And that can show up on mammograms and mm-hmm. it can be tricky. But also you can't create shape to the breast. Yes. It adds volume wherever yeah. you put it. But you don't get to create the shape like an implant would. So Mm -hmm. a lot of times people are disappointed just getting fat grafting breast dogs. Yeah. And again, you have to kind of overcompensate and they're happy. And then over time it goes away again Mm -hmm. and it can be quite lumpy. And you just look like you have fatty versions of whatever you had before. So I think the shape piece of that. That's important. We want them round, right? Mine I weren't do. round before, and that's mm-hmm. what I wanted, which could not have happened. Yeah, mine were sloped and down. Nice. Pointing mm-hmm. yes. down to my feet. We got some questions. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some surgery questions. There, actually, there are so many, but I'm going to attempt to play you one. Probably okay. won't work, but let's listen. I recently found out that I have tuberous breasts and that I'll need a lift with my implants. Have you heard of anyone else in a similar situation? Yes, we have. Tuberous breasts. Mm -hmm. So first, if you don't know what tuberous breasts are, they can also be called tubular breasts. Mm. And it's where it's kind of a deformity. You're born that way. Mm -hmm. And it's a restriction of the breast. So there's bands in your breast that are pulling it in, your breast tissue. So Mm -hmm. it's you have to go in there and cut the bands. They're quite tight and contracted, Mm -hmm. right? And the areola is usually pretty big and pointing down even less of a shape of the roundness mm-hmm. so some things need to go on in there yes. and so a lot of times you can't just get implants and it look 
the way you want, right. you have to do a lift at the same mm-hmm. time. And I think you talked to somebody. I who did. Recently yes, had that done, Megan. Right? Megan mm-hmm. came in to Amelia Aesthetics in Raleigh, mm-hmm. and we got an opportunity to ask her about her tuberous breast and her experience. And I'm just so pumped for you to get to see this. Hey Greta. Hey Jenny. My name is Megan Reed. I am an army wife and a mom to three beautiful girls. Just turned 30 this year. I have always struggled with um, tumor, tuberous breast deformity. Um, something I've been self-conscious about for my entire life. And thankfully, and by the grace of God, I found y'all. And I am so excited because on October 5th, <clears throat> I am scheduled with Dr. Routon for a breast augmentation and a breast lift. Super excited, also nervous. I didn't really know how many people out there had like tubular breast deformity. Um, so I listened to, I think it was Julia's last year. Um, and actually we're now friends on Facebook. So she kind of told me, hey, listen to this. She went to Dr. Routon, she told me all those things. Um, and it just kind of helped me be more prepared, um, know what I wanted, know that like what size I wanted to go for um, and all of that, so it's been awesome. I'm actually a cosmetic nurse injector. Um, so I give women confidence all the time, like if they have something that you know bothers them, you know, their lips, their cheeks, Botox, all those things. Um, so I feel like I need to kind of put it into myself too. I always kind of preach it to everybody else. Um, but really just the confidence and feel like I can go outside in a normal outfit, not have to cover up. I can wear a swimsuit, we can go to the beach, um, all those things and be, be confident in doing so. I am six weeks post-op today and I just want to share some encouragement for other ladies that are getting ready to go through the plastic surgery journey. Um, it has legitimately changed my life for the better. Um, any reservations, any um, mom guilt, um, you know, money-wise, all of those things, try to put them aside. You know, know that you're doing this for you and it's not only gonna help your appearance, it's gonna help how you feel about yourself. I had um, tuberous breast deformity and I absolutely hated my body. Um, Oh my gosh, for as long as I can remember. I knew um, after puberty, I looked different than all my friends. Um, I knew in high school, my breasts were not the same as everybody else's. And that made me extremely self-conscious. I can honestly say every penny, every doubt, every insecurity I had about plastic surgery, I would go back and do it all over again, 10 times over. I just want other ladies that struggle with the same thing to know that it's okay to be scared about it but know that after surgery your life is going to change and you're going to feel so much better about yourself it's going to change you know just how you get up out of bed every day knowing that you have the body that you want you love it and it's even like caused me to want to get in better shape to um, start eating healthier to just really start taking care of myself. So if you struggle with any of those things, I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this for yourself and putting all the reservations aside. Women are rock stars and we are meant to love ourselves. I just love how vulnerable she was. And I love that the more we can put it out there and be transparent, like there's a lot of women who have tuberous breasts. So this is going to help so many women. Here we go. T minus three minutes till Jenny is on the roof of my car because I just turned on the heated seats. You've never felt hotter seats. It's insane. For whatever reason than this Jeep. Okay, something just it, happened. It makes me want Are to you want it. ready? I have a great question I from our skincare. <laughs> from our skincare, you're going to have to power through. I'm ready. Are you ready? Uh huh. I recently found out that I have tuberous breasts. Nope. <laughs> We're good at this. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm on a holiday budget, so I can't buy my dream routine right now. What is one product that'll get me through the season looking my best? A <laughs> holiday budget. I hate a holiday budget. Oh. Were you listening to the question or are you worried about your hiney? My hiney. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to turn it back off again? No, no, this okay. is fun. So she's on a holiday budget, but she is trying to buy her dream routine in the early part mm. of next year, but she mm. needs one product Ooh, that's to get one. her through the year. Uh, see, I, I was pretty confident in my recommendation for this. Mm-hmm. Um, I would go all day long. 
buy a cream for. Oh! And now, I would not go for this if you have oily skin. Mm. But if you have combination, dry, normal, sensitive, any of the others, like, this is the best to me all around mm. moisturizing, anti-aging. It's large, so it's going to yeah. get you through the entire season. I think it's a 50 ml bottle so at least four or five months you can use it twice a day Doesn't it goes smell. on beautifully under makeup like it just does all the things you want during the winter time on top of moisturizing now it does not have any spf in it so y'all gotta put a little bit of spf Protect on afterwards face. if you need one product that you is going to give you all the good stuff and be your moisturizer at the same time this is your go-to Almost everywhere else you can buy it is like 180 bucks. I think uh. on realsimpleskin.com. It's definitely 20% off that right now. So yes. I can't do the math, but I well, think that's yeah. closer to we like 120 or 140. So it's not inexpensive, but I mean, what does it even say on there? Smoothing, Smoothing and, and tightening and it's moisturizing, but that's the um, Neocutis Bio Cream Firm. Yeah. If you have one product and one product only, this is what I would go with. So... Other than your hiney burning <laughs> and the holiday season coming up, hence your holiday cups, um, what have we been talking about? Or what are we focused on <laughs> on our wheel of life this week? We are focusing on fitness, mm -hmm. which is really tough to talk about when you're going into candy season and Thanksgiving season and Christmas season and all the things. But maybe it's the best time to talk about It's probably fitness. the most important yeah. time that we should do that. Mm-hmm. So for me, I've been kind of hopping around doing different things. And I think that's just my personality. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything. You need to. And I need to. Um, I am moving to a new house. And I plan to buy another workout bike. I sold it to the girl in the trunk. Hi, Case. <laughs> so she has my old workout bike. But I'm going to buy another one because mm -hmm. it was, it's one of those things. I had no idea I would enjoy it. I actually bought it thinking I was going to hate it. Mm -hmm. I don't, so then why did I buy it? But I did. And it was one of those things like the Peloton app. I know we mentioned it a lot, but I could do like a 25 minute run or a cycle and I could listen to like classic rock. And I don't know. It was just so good for me. And I don't ever do cardio. Cardio is like the thing I hate. Yeah, everyone. It's terrible. Yeah. It's awful. As God is my witness, I will quit. Some of us like the walk more than others. But then it's like when you're spinning or on, mm -hmm. on a, you're cycling, you stand so you're mm -hmm. working your legs yeah working your heart it's entertaining yeah and yeah. i just you know i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it hold me to it hold let's hold we will i think what we both have recognized in digging into this because we've done another shark week which apparently no one knows <laughs> what does that mean uh what that means <laughs> but it basically means the whole week on brunch club we talk about the same topic mm -hmm. therefore being able to actually dive a little deeper because we only talk for 15 minutes at brunch club Ish. Usually more like 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but I think what we both have found ourselves doing was like apologizing for skipping around doing mm -hmm. different workouts when I think that's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Like you're only going to hold my attention span. I'm only going to want to <laughs> do something for three or four months at a time before I'm like, look at that shiny mm -hmm. workout over there. Or look at that thing I could do. Yeah. And I think that's okay. Like, especially right out. now, it's dark and cold in the oh. morning and night. Yeah. It's really hard to do the exact same thing you wanted to do during the summertime. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay. Like recognizing what is going to get me through the holiday season. If that's doing your bike in your house, mm -hmm. you should do that. I will. Um, so I do think people should just be okay with that. Mm -hmm. It's okay to dance around and try different things. I think that is what makes the Peloton app fun. There are so many different types of workouts. And I on never there. did anything other than the cycling. Yeah. And there are. There yeah. was like meditation. Oh, there's strength, yoga, Hit. Pilates. Uh, yeah. Dance, stuff. cardio. I oh. was terrible at oh, that. that did fun. not do it. But I think <laughs> you've helped me also to recognize I my personality type reaches for things that are short lived mm -hmm. and usually somewhat competition based. Even usually it's a competition with myself, mm -hmm. but like 75 hard, right? If you've ever heard of that, it's like a 75 day challenge Ooh, where you hard. work out twice a day, yeah. you don't drink alcohol. I did that. I didn't do the full 75. Um, I did my <laughs> unmodified version, but I'm like, I liked it because there was an end or I like playing sports because I can just sign up for one yeah. season, see how it goes. Like you can commit to anything for one season. There's games, but then it's done and I can move on. This whole just unending working Jenny's turning off the hiney seat. My vagina's on fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. What <laughs> Is am that I doing? The button? Why am I oh here it goes. 
Ooh. Okay, Jenny's on the roof. Um, I'm good. But now with the running thing, that has been great too because I am today mm-hmm. is one month till my race. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll do it after that. Maybe I won't. It doesn't matter. I only committed to this certain mm-hmm. time frame, and then we'll see. I might be into skydiving after that. Well, that's, that's not, not fitness. <laughs> like screaming. Um, I might be into <laughs> aerial acrobatics <gasps> after that. I or would love that. I also love kickboxing. Like they're I, I've you never just done never. It. Oh. Man. I think I would love it though. Kickboxing is I a got some great way, me. yeah, to get it out. That's so, good. but right now I'm enjoying this running season, and then I'll see what's next. Let's not get fired. Okay, we gotta go back to work. Brunch Club, Shark Week. We're, it's gonna catch on. We're good. <laughs> Maybe if we keep saying fetch, it'll happen. Um, do you know the reference? Fetch mm-hmm. from a Mean Girls. Yes. Yeah, yeah you fetch. got it. Uh-huh. What's up? Fetch. We're gonna make Shark Week happen. <laughs> Every week, we're going to keep digging into a spoke of a wheel That's of right. life that you got to focus on. That's right. And we are doing spirituality, so we'll talk about that oh, yeah. next next time we drop this episode. Yeah. So <laughs> it's been fun. It has. Sort of. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. To join Bus Mob, shop for swag, or follow me and Greta on social, click the links below. See you next time. <laughs>